Hi everyone, welcome to ACAS Cloud. So today I'll be showing a demo video on how to create front door and CDN profile uh, and use that tool uh, to operate our web application. Uh, so before starting the demo video, uh, I'll explain what exactly this uh, front door tool is. It is a type of load balancer and uh, uh, front door uh, is a scalable entry point that uh, uses the uh, Microsoft network, uh, Microsoft Global Edge network to create a widely scalable web application uh, which is very fast and secure. So as part of uh, creating a front door um, application or a front door service for the web application, I already created uh, two web applications in two different region. One is in East region and one is in West region. And let's uh, create one front door uh, tool. So for that we need to go to load balancing and then we need to select front door and CDN profile and then create one So right now I'm going with the quick create, which is very east. Sorry, which is very easy uh, to deploy, and uh, continue to create a friend door. The resource group will be east, and then I'm going to name it and we are going with the standard version. EP1 origin type will be app services host name will be East Portal and I'm not uh, going with any option here it's not mandatory and we are actually good to create one front door profile so review and create <laughs> So the deployment is complete now. Let's go to resource and then we need to go to origin group and then add an origin group. We already have one uh, default origin group with endpoint 1. So we'll be creating one with endpoint 2. So here the name will be EP2 and then add okay. and I'm going to name it endpoint 2 origin type will be again app services host name will be west portal and then everything is good here and then add we don't have to do anything here So we can add this. So that is done. Now we need to associate this endpoint with the other one. So we need to select unassociated and then we are going to connect with our first one which is default origin group and then associate so that is also done now let me refresh this one time and then 
go to overview so everything is looking good here let's go to front door manager and select this and copy this endpoint and paste it in a new web page and enter okay maybe it might take some time let me go back and refresh the system one more time so I refresh the page and earlier the error was showing because I uh, I stopped this uh, both of the web apps so I restarted it and refreshed uh, both the uh, web applications so now let's check uh, our endpoint whether it's working so let's go to load balancer and then front door and CDN profile let's select this and then front door manager and select this default route and copy the endpoint and paste it okay now it's working now the main advantage of this tool is if uh, let's say we connected uh, two or three web application we associated two or three web application with this uh, particular tool and if anyone among this associated web application is not working then the other two will help us to access this portal so for that I'll show you how that works so let's go to web app again and I'm going to stop this and let's close this and we can go and open it again actually we don't need that we already copied that link and paste it's still working and if we are stopping the other okay this one is stopped so the other web application refresh and if we are refreshing this then we are getting the error because all the web application which was associated using this tool is uh, has stopped now uh, and if we want to access it again then we will have to uh, start either one of the application working now so uh, this is how uh, this friend door and CDN profile works in web application I hope you like this video thank you